Hello. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. You're okay. Can, can, can I touch you? It's, I understand it's probably not a good time with what you are going through right now, but I truly suggest a little contact. If you would not obviously consent to that, there's no problem. I've just found that it helps um, patients that are currently here and patients that have been in and out, and some who have never come back. Stimulation in the form of, you know, physical touching, visual triggers and sounds can very much help your condition. It's kind of like we are giving you the addiction in response to be able to control your addiction. So, do you mind? If I touch your face? Okay. Absolutely no worries. I will not be offended if you change your mind. This is not about me. This is about you, so I need you to listen to me, okay? You probably don't even know how you ended up here, and that's okay. show you to your room. You're going to have to have kind of like a shakedown, but I can do it here. Um, I am the doctor and leading physician of this facility. I am also the creator and owner. And again, you look very embarrassed, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I want to let you know that this is a very real addiction, and Pretty much every human being on this earth, including children, have this addiction as well. And there's nothing wrong. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to light a candle. Then I'm going to just get some information on you, okay? It's okay. So, this candle is non-scented, it's just here to light the mood. We do a lot of role-playing here um, to help patients uh, figure out the source of their addiction and why they are doing the things they are doing. So this background you see is actually for um, a Golden Girls role-play that I had been working on with another patient or patients, but I find it actually very relaxing. Using the long strike matches. You just relax, okay? You do not have to do anything but calm down. It probably doesn't make you feel better when somebody tells you to calm down during a high state of anxiety, but I promise you, I promise you, you're safe here. I'm actually going to be using two matches, and you will see why during our test. So, this might be a little bit loud.
smoke is almost calming, isn't it? So I'm going to place these over here. No worries. So I think that you're, you are definitely a lot calmer. So I'm going to start with getting some information on you. It does appear you have been um, called in uh, a actual numerous of times, um, number of times, and I'm just going to go through those files and ask you a few questions, followed by taking some notes of my own. You are going to get um, some one or two things to take to your room with you. Clothes will be provided for you. The anxiety robe. It has all the beads in it. it wraps around the whole body. Gives the feeling of being cuddled, 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 cuddled. Okay. So. Just grab my book. After the information, I'm going to get your temperature and your heart rate. Recite your um, full name for me, please. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. No worries. No problems. Problems. You are actually called in probably over um, 50 times, and this time you are actually coming in, so that is completely fine. Could you verify your address for me, just so I know? zip code and state. I mean, we ultimately probably live in the same state, but a lot of patients come from out of um, state. We've even had a few from out of country. Go ahead. Okay. And state, you said. Awesome. Okay, um, could you, are you voluntary or did somebody bring you? I truly apologize about that. Um, it appears that we've had a couple of bees, um, black wasps, actually get into the traps that we have set around here. And I just did not want um, you to hear the sounds to distract you. And no worries. We release them right back into the wild, and no, you have no chance of being stung, so no problem. But anyway, so, did somebody admit you here? Um, did you come voluntarily? What was it? Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely nothing to be ashamed of, I promise you, okay? So, just to finish the information, um, are you allergic to anything by chance? Anything at all? Any medications you're currently on? Okay, so the allergies... Mm hmm. Okay, sure. Mm hmm. And, um, you said medications? Or... 
is that uh, full time often not none at all or were you just mm. okay so milligrams brilliant I think that's all I have for you is there any specific trigger that I may um, or may not accidentally trigger you that would bring up certain feelings, emotions. We're not worried about the um, actual feeling itself. We're worried about emotional value and aspect. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to If you could just, just lean forward for me. Okay. You don't mind that I touch you again, correct? Okay. Great. Okay, so just go ahead and stay still. Put your hand, or my hand on your shoulder. Your heartbeat is definitely a lot more relaxed than when we started. And now, I'm just going to get a temperature. This was actually the wrong temperature side. I'm actually just going to get a temp on your arm, okay? you to do is just lift up your arm, go ahead and close, or put your arm over underneath. We stopped doing the um, oral and rectal temps for reasons I do not need to express. is an outstanding normal temperature. starting your rehabilitation intake now. Um, I'm going to be doing an assessment on your face with my hands. Um, you know what? It's very, very late, so I'm probably just going to direct you right over to the room. So I'm just going to check. Um, you're already wearing these standard uh, t-shirt and shorts, white and semi semi-see-through. Problem, nothing to be ashamed of or worried about here. Um, we're not looking at anything. What we are looking at is if you have anything that could be a potential trigger. So, something that could continue an addiction that we are trying to help you control. I wanted to start out by giving you this. You're going to take this back to your room with you and have it with you at all times. Journal. And I encourage. 
encourage you to write down your feelings, okay? It's nothing fancy, but it definitely does the job, so I'll just put that right here with you. Sorry if I bumped you there. Okay, so let me just go ahead and get my tools and we will start. I will do the facial check, um, kind of like a mini cranial nerve exam. Nothing too sinister. I have a sip of my coffee fee first. Are you thirsty by chance? Would you like some water, some tea, soda? Coffee fee? Mm -hmm. Unlike other rehabilitation centers, we like to actually offer things with sugar and caffeine in them. Um, I know how stressful it can be, you know, when you don't have something at least to keep you going through the day. You can't just take everything off of an addict at once um, and expect them to be okay. So sugar is definitely one thing I do encourage um, when coming out of an active addiction like you are. So. gloves here. I may only need one. Um, I think I'm only going to be able to use one since this one for some reason has been eaten off. So we'll just throw that to the side. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Let's see. So, I'm just going to, oh, sorry about that, start the test. Let me just go through with your face first. Okay. I'm just going to be feeling around your face, pressing into your cheeks. Um, I'm even going to be using two fingers and going boop, boop, boop on your lips, okay? So, I'm just pressing into your temples right now. your jaw. Okay. okay, let's see. All right, now I'm just going to be pressing right up here with your nose. All right, let's see. I am just going to be using this flashlight. So 
So I'm not done with the light just yet. What I need you to do is just follow the light. Don't worry about my fingers. Just follow the light, okay? It's okay if it goes out of your peripheral vision. So everything seems so far so good. Now I'm just going to finish off. Um, I'm going to have you lift up your arms for me um, and squat. Do you know how to do a squat? Um, you just kneel down basically. I'm sorry to get you up. You seem very relaxed, but again, I am doing the check for you so we can get this over with and you can get into your room and get cozy. Okay. So just, um, Go ahead. Now lift your arms up. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to worry about it. Go ahead. Just lift your arms up. Oof. That's what I thought. Oh no. Nothing to be ashamed or worried about. Go ahead. Have a seat. Relax. No, 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 no. Shh, 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 shh. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I will get it. That's why I have this. Well, actually, I have this for a different reason, but I'm going to use it to get it. Just don't be ashamed, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna poke it. I knew I heard something. Um, foil. It's all right does appear to be used. It's definitely crinkled. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a crinkle test on you anyway, so we may as well use the foil. <sighs> how much have you used this? I mean, how many times do you... Is this, is this your favorite? Do you do this often? No, no. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not judging you. I'm just trying to get information so I know how to treat you. Um... Judging by the look of this foil, it looks like you've been using at least two to three times a day, if I'm correct. Okay. More than that. Does it keep you away from daily tasks, like simple things like the dishes or getting dressed? Um, has it affected your family at all? And you, my friend, are definitely addicted. Um, all right. This is the last time, for this foil at least, we're going to remove this trigger and try different ones, okay? No, no, no. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, it's okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. The reason I have this stick is because I'm going to be using it during the trigger tests. I'm actually going to be poke, poke, poking you when you seem to be getting too relaxed. Um, it's just to trigger the responses of how deep your relaxation actually is. So, I will use this one more time, just to get some information on your triggering. And we're just going to have to take it away from you for a little bit. And if you go through withdrawal, we have other methods of treating you. Because tingle immunity is something that... <sighs> tingle addiction, which causes tingle immunity, it's a bad feeling. Nobody wants it. It's like you ache for it and you chase the high of autonomous sensory meridian response. And we just want, we want people to feel normal. And, and you're, you're not, no, you're definitely normal. You ready? It's time to take the leap. Okay. So this is your final test before we let you into your room. Um, you may get very sleepy during this test, just kind of like the addiction. It's kind of like creating a false high, especially knowing now that you had this on you. Um, you have your journal with you. 
So when I instruct you to just please go to your room, do not think I'm not being compassionate or not loving. I'm just trying to get a accurate response with the test, okay? So I'm going to be using plenty of different triggers just to see how you respond. And then towards the end, I will abruptly stop and tell you that it is time for, um, time to go to your room. You should be relaxed enough tonight to sleep, but the actual withdrawal from, um, lack of your favorite trigger probably will start within one to three days and the third day is always the worst so but we're here we have plenty of different methods i promise you you're safe and that's the most important part is comfort and safe comfort and safety comfort and safety comfort and safety safety comfort 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 you do will offend me or upset me unless you try to kill somebody that will have an issue but ultimately we've had plenty of different responses during these tests so we also use making sure. That's probably the most relaxed you've gotten, so I'm going to remove this one. Alright, um, the next trigger I'm going to be using, a lot of people uh, have had a previous past with it, so it may actually trigger emotion in you, and if it does, immediately with showing the trigger, I would like you to either cover your ears, or close your eyes, or both. It will pass probably within about 15 to 20 seconds, but I do need to test it. Um, but again, if this triggers an emotional response in you, I truly do suggest you to close your eyes and hold your ears. You will not be affected by this trigger physically. It's kind of a physical or an emotional and um, visual response, okay? Some patients love this trigger, other patients don't, but again, I encourage you to either hold your ears, close your eyes, give me about 15 to 20 seconds when I start this break.
all done, all over. Okay, so you definitely stayed responding to that. Okay, I can check that off. Next, let's get into another. I have a couple here. No worries. All right. So this one's just a quick one, but I wanted to see how you respond to me pulling apart, pulling apart, pulling apart this. Hmm. Well, that is not too good. No worries. Nothing to be ashamed of. Ashamed. Ashamed. Yep, you're falling asleep a little bit there. That's okay, though. So we're just going to keep moving on to the next trigger and next trigger. I only have a couple, so...
nothing wrong with having a love for something. 